Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are finally back with Let's Play Vagrant Story on the PlayStation Network. The last time, we beat the game and got this fancy little symbol next to our uh, save file right here, which, uh, as I figured out from finding it out online and reading various places, apparently that is the rude inverse, which will enable us to unlock the various rude inverse doors throughout the game. I thought you were going to, like, start out with the rude inverse key item or something like that in your inventory, or something, but, yes, yeah, apparently it's just, uh, attached to your save file, so, there we go. And, as you can see, uh, I'm back to the 84% map completion that I had at the end of the previous save file. Yeah, I went ahead and just went through everything and, uh, made sure to open up all the chests and ignore all the root inverse doors once I figured out that it opened them and completed all the maps, so that's the way it's basically just like we're continuing from the final save point, except we're in a different area. And yeah, it took me 15 hours not counting, like, resetting for, uh, like, stat boost from the items and stuff to, uh, get all the way back here. I would have been back sooner, but, uh, I got a new graphics card for my, place, for my PC, for my PC, and I was having fun with that, so. Oh, well, it happens. But anyways, um... Uh, we have several root inverse doors to go through, and apparently that's going to give us the rest of the keys, like the uh, gold key and the uh, other keys that we need. So, I'm not sure what order we're supposed to do them in, so I'm just going to go ahead and do them in the order that, uh, well, not the order that we found them in, but I'm at least going to do the first one that we found first, because, well, it's the first one I found. Who knows, we might end up having to do that one, like, second, but, eh, we'll find out as we go. But before we do that, I want to check out some new stuff here. Alright, for my magics and stuff, uh, the big thing here is in the Warlock spells. Uh, now I have multiple levels of my spells. Uh, some of them have up to four, I think. Uh, actually, these ones don't, but uh, I have the... Yeah, see, level four for that. But I have some of the uh, grimoires that will make them make them level four. Let's see what what grimoires do I have on me right now? Uh, let's see, I got a lot of the a lot of these like these uh single level spells like exorcism and uh and drain mind. You can probably just toss them, but I haven't yet because I forgot. I've tossed a lot of them or just not picked them up because you're not going to get multiple levels of those spells. But uh, Explosion, I think that one's at level 4 right now. Uh, yeah, some Thunder Burst, that will be at level 4. That will be at level 4 with uh, Flame Spear. Gaia Strike is either at level 4 or close to it. And Avalanche, I think, is at level 2 or 3. Meteor, it's almost there. Uh, a couple other things. Um, as you can see, my equipment is fully decked out in Hoplite equipment. Um, Hoplite, it turns out, is the third highest uh, tier in the game. And then the next highest is uh, Jezerant, and the final highest is called Dread. Uh, so all the shield and all the other armors and stuff, those those are have the same names for those last three ranks. Hoplite, uh, Jezerant, and Dread. Uh, unfortunately for like the uh, Dread and like the uh, Jezerant, you gotta combine a lot of the same types of uh, stuff. Like to get the Dread armor for the Jezerant, you gotta combine two Dread armors. So yeah, I don't have two Dread armors and it would take a few pieces of equipment to do that and I don't have them. Uh, trust me, I looked through those damn um, combining areas a good three or four or five hours even. It takes forever. With with all the stuff I had to uh, go through, I sat there for about an hour or more on each uh, individual area, shield, arms, head, body, and legs, just trying to find out the best combinations of stuff that I had. But uh, as you can see, the hoplite stuff is pretty damn good. 27 strength and defense for my uh, shield there, 26 for the intellect. Uh, let's see... Hoplite Glove, 17 and 17 for both hands, so that's pretty nice. Hoplite Helm, 17 and 17 again, so that's pretty nice. Jays around, that's pretty nice. Actually, I think the, uh, I think the Hoplite, uh, armor had 24 and 24 instead of 25 and 22, so it had a slightly worse intellect, but honestly, I got plenty of intellect. And 19 and 20, yeah, it's kind of odd that that has a higher intellect, but oh well. Um, as for my weapons... Let's see here. Uh, let's see. My Draconian Beast here is, well, uh, the Kopesh for these swords is something like the, uh, 
I want to say fourth or fifth strongest blade. Here, let me let me find out real quick. Uh, I know they're up there, so I still have a ways to go. I, I tried I tried getting up to the uh, highest level. Um, actually, no, the Kopesh is the third highest sword. Uh, the next one, the next two, we're not gonna be able to get because uh, let's see, how do we get the next one anyways? Oh yeah, we actually have to have another Kopesh to combine to get the. Uh, next highest sword, and unfortunately, I do not have another Kopesh, so that kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. By the way, uh, did we see how much attack that had? No. Eh, we'll, we'll go through the uh, stats later. Uh, the dagger, I really haven't been using that. I don't even know why I have it on me. Uh, Liquid Mercury, that's uh, Korra. That's the uh, one right below Kopesh, so it's a little weaker, but then again, it is silver, so it naturally has higher undead and I think phantom stats, even though it's supposed to be uh, undead and. Is it, is it undead and evil or is it undead and phantom? I think it's undead and evil. Yeah, I forget. Um, I finally got a better crossbow. Uh, the lug crossbow, that's something like, I think, the uh, third or fourth highest crossbow. Unfortunately, there is no better. There is no better. Um, hilt for it. Uh, let's see, lug crossbow. Okay, third highest cro this, this is the third highest right here. Um, let's see. My axe, however, uh, the the uh, crescent that it is right there, uh, that is the highest the uh, single-handed axes will get, so it's maxed out. And I have, with those Titan Malachites in the poor hours, 110 physical, so yeah, it hurts a lot. And also, uh, somehow, I'm assuming because of the gems, it has the highest... Uh, magic or intellect stat so far uh, the club that I don't tend to use a whole lot I just use it every once in a while uh, the war mall right there that again is the highest uh, single club or hammer or whatever you want to call it uh, let's see and then for the evil's bane for the longest time this damn thing was stuck at a short sword and I could not get it to combine to something better but finally I got lucky um, looking around through the damn charts for about 40, 30, 45, 50 minutes an hour, and I finally was able to upgrade the damn short sword, because the problem with the short sword is it's kind of in a weird spot where anything it combines with either turns into another short sword or becomes weaker. So I was barely able to find something to uh, power it up a little bit. And then again, I don't even use it that much. So, yeah. Oh well. But yeah, all my weapons are much more better now. Uh, let's see, as for their actual stats, let's see, uh, yeah, 34, 12, I think that was the same as last time. The Draconian Beast, nice and powerful, 39 attack, very nice. Uh, Dagger, I don't care about you, 29 attack for my crossbow, 36 for my axe murder right there, that's pretty nice right there. I'm surprised it's, uh, not as, it's, it's not, uh, I'm surprised it's, I, I was gonna say I was surprised it's weaker than the uh, Draconian Beast, but then I think the uh, I think the uh, hilt for the swords might have more attack multiplier or something like that. And then my hammer is nice and powerful at 41 and 17. But I like that intellect for the uh, <coughs> for the axe right there at the uh, 29. And then Evil's Bane, it's got a really crappy intellect for some reason. But oh well. Anyways, enough uh enough dilly dallying around here. Let's just. Let's just go open up the rude inverse, shall we? It was pretty nice uh, going through the game with with uh, all my equipment because for the first for the first like I want to say 25 percent of the game, I was one shotting enemies and three or four shotting bosses, and then after that, it, it came to the point where uh, it came to the point where. Uh, bosses took like five or six hits. I mean, once I got near the end, they started taking standard hits, the bosses at least, but the enemies, they died so easily, it was pathetic. Whoa, you jumped out of nowhere. Alright, so yeah, that guy. Yeah, see, enemies are gonna die really fast, and I love it. Uh, if they don't teleport directly into me, the little rat bastards. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't appear to be a whole lot in here. Let's see, what is this area called, anyways? This is... Oh, we're still in the Undercity West. Huh. So, okay, that works. If I'm not mistaken, there is a... Uh... You bastard. Everyone always tries to silence your ass. If I'm not mistaken, there is also a uh, chest in here. Or not a chest, or a door at the very least. Uh, with one of the keys that we got in the main game. And I was looking around for it on the map, trying to figure out where it was so I could open it. And then I realized, hey, it must be in one of those uh, rude inverse doors. 
As for exactly where it is, I'm not sure, but I'm sure we'll find it at some point. Oh, well, there it is. There's the root inverse right there, and there's the iron key. Um, hang on. Let me check something here. Uh, I really hate this damn uh, map sometimes. It's a real bastard. Okay, Undercity West, Corner of the Wretched. Okay, never mind. I was thinking of something else. But, uh... By the way, apparently... Opening, like, the, uh... Opening, like, the locked doors and going through them into the next area that they connect with... Uh, that will... Actually, you might have something... You might have something good. Apparently, that also counts towards your map completion, so... Make sure you guys are doing that if you're going for the 100% map completion, which we are, by the way. By the way, we're not gonna get, uh, 100% until we rebeat the final boss. So once you get back to, once you get to the uh, ooh tilt glove that's very nice that's uh, that that'll help me get a uh, better better gloves. All right, drop your shield. I want more shields. No, Foos camp. Eh, I don't really need that actually. So it's gonna go away. I'm not sure what the heck you're packing up. What kind of crossbow you're packing? But you're dead. So there we go. Oh, I know where we are now. Duh. This is where we opened that, uh... This is where that damn silver door was, like, right... Eh, come here, you little shit. One of these doors right here was a silver key door or something like that. We ran all the way over here, and then we couldn't get through it because there was a root inverse where we are now. I remember that, the little fuckers. Yeah. What was I saying? Um... Uh, I forget. Are we still in Undercity West, or are we enter a new area? Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, we're gonna enter a new area. Path of the Children here. Oh, uh, that's the other thing I was think, uh, thinking of. Um, in the score right here, go to Gazette, and you can see your your uh, map completions, or 85%, and how many, however many ch uh, chests you open or whatever. So we still have 24% of the chests in the game to open. And by the way, that's how many we had at the end of the at the end of our uh, first run, and so I was in I was on the right track apparently, and map completion was at 84. So I'm not sure how many more chests there actually are because I don't think there's a hundred chests in the game. There's probably some, probably a lot less. So who knows how who who knows how long this will take? I'm, I'm, I'm expecting some like five or six more episodes. I'm, that's just a guess though. And it's very yellow down here. And these little fuckers, they will try to silence my ass like it's going out of style. You. Die, you little midgety son of a fuck. Right, I see you. Yeah, see, for some reason these fuckers just pop the rage in his boners and popping silence on me every chance they fucking get. I mean, it's not like it's really that bad if they're by themselves, but if they're, like, in a room with, like, a lich or something, and then that guy attacks me and I have to use items to heal and waste items, and that can be mildly annoying, but... Oh, well. Um, okay, the gold key to the left, the silver key to the right, and Undercity West to the south? Wait. Oh, no. To the, uh, to the south is nothing. All right, you know what, let's go ahead and go through that silver key door, shall we? Luckily, the, uh... Whoa. The air guy. Um, luckily, silence always cancels as soon as you enter the next room, so... I would use a uh, spell on these guys, but they have pimpin' high magic defenses, or intellect, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, so there's really no point. Wow, this guy's being really slow attacking me. Usually, uh, usually he would have got an attack in in there. Okay, it looks really dark in this damn room. You're gonna silence me, I just know you are. Ooh, critical hit, very nice. And you're gonna be amenable, which is nice. You are gonna die. Do I see your friend in the distance over there? I think I do. No? 
Okay, your friend is nowhere to be found. Okay, why the heck is it so dark in this room? I mean, I get we're underground, but none of the other areas were this dark. I'm surprised I got that. I never get those magic spells, like, ever. That reminds me, uh, I want to go ahead and switch over to my, uh, my human weapon, since that's supposed to be better against phantoms, but, well, I tend to just use whatever I'm using without switching. And, because I've been killing all sorts of stuff with this, because I've kept the, uh, Titan Malachite and stuff in there, so it's nice and strong, um, uh, I've killed a lot of stuff with it, so now I got its final break arm, so that'll be, uh, that'll do, that'll do a good chunk of damage to this guy, hopefully. Let's see. Break art. Black Nebula. It's always dark and blunt. However, this guy is a little too out of the way, so we gotta tiptoe up those fences. Okay, uh, give me. There we go. Alright. Now, let's see that Black Nebula. You're just a little. Jeez, will you stand still, you fat fuck? Kinda of weird, his first attack did 36 damage, and the rest of his attacks are doing nowhere near as much. Alright, anyways, here's the uh, Black Nebula, which looks pretty cool, actually. Nice. I like it. And somehow this fat fucker is still alive. Alright, there you go, you're dead. And you know what? Let's see how much we heal for with the 39 on our weapon. Yeah, that's not too bad, 154. Or not 39, 29, I'm sorry. Kind of, kind of irritated that the ultimate uh, one-handed axe doesn't look a little different. And the one-handed club doesn't look that much, doesn't look that great either, actually. Uh, let's see, the... Okay, so that's the ultimate axe right there for the one-handed. Or maybe not ultimate, but the highest one you can make. I, I, I think there is actual, like, uh, ultimate equipment, like, like drop and like can't be combined I think I'm not sure about that but I'm not gonna bother with that stuff I'm happy with what I got uh, let's see sir smash a lot it looks yeah that's that's the uh, highest tier club right there it's looks kind of dumb in my opinion kind of underwhelming if I do say so myself uh, let's see as for the crossbow yeah again it looks kind of underwhelming I will. and I honestly preferred the other shield the night shield that we had before the uh, Pop light shield, but that's just my personal opinion on the matter. And it's a shame that they don't show like the boots or the gloves or the armor or stuff like that on, on Ashley, but then again I guess that would take a fair amount of resources. Especially for just a PlayStation game. Um okay, so Okay, so that was not the way we're that was not the way we should have gone, apparently. We should have gone to the other way. And this fat fucker has respawned, you son of a bitch. Come here, you tubby. There we go. Three hits. Uh, let's see. I hope the rest of this area isn't it isn't this dark. I see you little shit. You're not gonna silence my ass for the two seconds it takes for me to exit the room. Gotta love that 110 physical attribute for this axe right here. Yeah, you diabolic son of a bitch. But you know what? I can out heal that by six points. There's the door. And you can't even hit me, sucker. By the way, notice how my uh, HP is over 500 now compared to the 370 it was, and how my mana is 87 compared to the 72 that it was. Yeah. Every single damn boss I fought gave me like plus 4 or plus 3 or plus 5 HP or some shit. So yeah, I got 
boned in that department. Luckily, I saved before using all my, like, uh, uh, elixirs and stuff, so that's why I got some mana out of it. Ooh, nice crit. I like it. I, I think on the stat wheels, what it is, is the stat wheels have much more HP, um, spaces than they do any other spaces, like, I think they have more HP spaces than all the other spaces put together, so that's why you're so predispositioned, predispositioned, predispositioned to, uh, hit HP instead of, whoa, it's, uh, Ifrit and Ifrit. That's not going to be great for my health. Alright, can I destroy you in a matter of a few hits? I hope so. And I thought it was bad when we were fighting just the, uh, the fire elementals as regular enemies. And now we're fighting the fire elemental bosses as regular enemies. That's not good for my health. And, but they're not doing any damage to me. You know what's funny? These guys only use the single targeting spells, it seems like. Whereas their uh, lower counterparts use, like, the, uh... The area of effect ones. Like, I'm almost positive that, uh... The first, like, fire elemental we fought... He used, like, a... Flame Spear or whatever, right? He did. And these guys, they never use anything like a uh, flame spirit. They just use a. Uh, well, see, they have the grimoire for it, but they don't use it. It's kind of odd, actually. And you're not going to do any damage to me. Alright, uh, we can try to, like, exploit their weakness with, like, a. Uh, with, like, the. Uh... Wait, we need the flame spirit, don't we? Um, there we go. With the spells right here, and by the way, these have these have a very large range, so even like that, it'll hit Ashley. So you gotta make sure it's not gonna hit you, like right there. See, it's gonna hit my uh, my shield arm right there. So you gotta back it up just a little bit. But unfortunately, these guys have like very low chance to be hit by the damn magic, so it kind of sucks. But I guess if you wanted to, you could you could uh, pop on the various. Uh, Elemental weapons skills. But I don't think it would really matter since since my uh, since my physical thing on this weapon is so damn high. Anyways, I don't think it really makes a difference. I mean, I could take out all the gems and stuff, but I like having a big fat physical stat for this thing. Makes me feel powerful. Oh, your one damage is so cute. Will you stop blocking everything? What I really hate is when they're, uh, they're blocking everything for like three or four turns in a row, and then I uh, stop trying to do a chain, and then I then I get that then I get that hit in at that last. The last part of the chain that I gave up on. Like, it'll miss like five times in a row, and stop, and then I'll say, oh, 30 damage. Like, well, gee, thanks. Okay, what the fuck? You did one damage a minute ago, and now you did 38 damage. I wish these guys were more consistent. By the way, uh, even if I try to heal with my. Weapon away, it's still like 60. Why? I don't know. You'd think that uh, increasing your intellect would make that number go up a little bit, but apparently it only seems to help very much when you have your weapon out. And, geez, another one of you? You guys are all over the place. I like that crit. Nice. Nice, nice, baby. Okay, who else do I gotta fight in here, you fuckers? Anybody? Nobody? Somebody? Anybody? No? I hope all the Rude Inverse doors aren't this damn dark. Whoa, what the heck? Uh... You seem to be a... I can't tell if you're that same doll thing I've been fighting, or if you're different. No? You seem to be the 
as weak as the other ones. Yeah, it's the same thing. It just dark, so I thought they were something new. Okay, you guys should not be missing that much. Oh, I think I'm hitting like a wall or something. That's why. Yeah, I'm hitting a wall or something. There we go. Okay, either that or these have a lot more made than I thought they did. There you go. Hey, treasure chest. Don't tell me we came all this way into this, uh, Ruin Inverse store for a treasure chest. And it's bound by magic. Alright, and I'm silenced, you son of a bitch. Um. Ah, well. Uh, let's see, where's that spell thingy, whatever. There we go, stuff I drought. There we go. And look, I have a little bit of risk, so hopefully I have a slightly higher chance to open the chest with my magic. It's Instead of 58%, it'll be like 59%. Sounds about right. Hey, 68%, all 10%. And it only takes 25 risk. So... And I still missed. Great. By the way, I don't think I I don't think I analyzed more than like two or three bosses on the uh, on the way back up here. Most of them, most of them I just put on the. Uh, okay, good. Three times the charm print. Most of the time I just put on the weapon that had their affinity and just clobbered them and they died. Ooh, a uh, silver gray tax. Looks like mages. Oh, I like those. Okay. Um, Let's see what that uh, great axe has for a hilt. I care less about the blade and more about the hilt. Because it might have a, a better hilt for my... for my club. Ah, the wrong case hole? Yeah, that's junk. It didn't have a gem in it, did it? No? Okay. I think I think that just had a high rating on something because uh, I saw a 20 on something before I disassembled it, but I wasn't sure what that was. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, the undead and phantom, of course. It's silver, so of course it naturally has good undead and phantom stats and light stats. Oh well. Well, that's the first area of the root inverses, and now we have like. Uh, is that the whole thing? Huh. That's... Oh, we gotta go to the... We don't have the gold key. Okay. So... Oh, well, we got a... We got a, we got a fair amount done. Uh, let's see. The next uh, rude inverse is... Uh, let's see. It's in the... The... Oh, the city walls east. Okay, I think I know where that is. Uh, let's see. City walls east. Yeah, there we go. That little hallway right there. Alright, guys. Um... I am going to go ahead and meet you guys there next time. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good night.